So this is the Rogue 38 umbrella. Look at this, optically white, beautiful. If you take a look in here, you can see it even has pads on here to keep the joint from going through the fabric. Look at the beautiful button you have to touch and the way it clamps in. Even this is doubled up in there in the center so it doesn't wear through right there. I mean, this is a really beautiful 38 optically white black back umbrella and it fits in this short case unlike other 32 inch umbrellas and the black backing keeps the light from bouncing all over the room but for me it helps me because i'm going to feather the light when i put it on her so again we have our beautiful model adriana here and we're going to take a few photographs here in the fisher building in detroit michigan and again we're showcasing the rogue umbrella all right, so let's pop this on here. You can see how fast umbrellas are to set up. So I'm gonna turn up the brightness. And wh what you wanna do when you have a black backing umbrella, I don't usually aim the light at the subject. I feather it off. So remember in the beginning when I was talking about making sure your light's in the correct distance inside there, so you don't have any, see the light falling on the wall back there? You don't want any of that. There we go. That's the correct distance inside for the width of your light to make sure that it's all inside your umbrella. All right, so go ahead and get your pose. Okay, cool. That's great. Good attitude. Now I'm going to bring this in and then I'm going to feather it. So look right in the camera over there. Now I'm starting to see a little bit of a shadow from her nose and the white of her eyes. So if you're worried about how far forward does your light stand go, it's not over there and it's not way back there. You're making sure that there's no shadow from the nose in the eye. So she holds that pose. I'm gonna bring this up and look how I'm getting the background to go dark. If you wanna light the background, aim it at your subject. But then you're going through the issue where one side of the cheek will be brighter than the other side because that's closer to the light than the other one is. So that's. Feathering the light could do two things. You can feather it to even the light out across the face. And then if you want to light the background, you could just put another light back up there. But here you're controlling so that there's no light on her ear and her arm. You're kind of skimming that off. So again, you can see I have the light kind of feathered. It's aimed at me. So let's watch what it looks like on her. We aim it and then we turn it. You can see the background going dark there just by turning the umbrella and feathering it. All right, so now we are going to do a full length here. So you can see I'm moving the light away to spread the light. It's up high, so she's gonna still get a shadow under her nose. And look at the height, it's coming down on a 45 degree angle. Let's get a few shots of this. Let the arms hang at your side, they just fall. Good. This 38 inch umbrella is the perfect width for pretty much everything you're gonna do for one or two people. Anytime you get a great big huge group is when you might need a bigger umbrella. But for this type of everyday work, this is it. Again, quick, fast, easy to set up. One of the quickest light modifiers you're gonna take on location with you to do this type of work. So we hope you enjoyed this video and let's take a look at some of the photographs.